The red buds are starting to bloom. It's a good time to dig up bonsai. This is an American hornbeam on my property. I start by clearing the area of debris. Oriental bittersweet, which is invasive, has many roots that need to be cut. This tree is growing on top of rock, which makes for hard digging. Because it's an old farmstead, barbed wire is also present. Dig a trench as best you can around the base. A general rule is five to six times wider than the trunk's diameter. As you'll see, these flat rocks help create a lateral root system. Use a good saw and pruners to cut through the roots. Large tap roots take a bit of work, but nobody said collecting trees was easy. One of the best parts about collecting trees are the surprises. Like that. The last step in the process is filling the hole back in and getting your tree home. The next step is cleaning the old clay soil out of the root system. I'm using a chopstick in order to do this. You can see here the large taproot that I'll be cutting later. The small finer roots that I'm pulling out are the invasive oriental bittersweet I spoke of earlier. You can see here the large mass of roots that grow with these types of vines. There's the taproot I'll be taking off later. Now that the taproot has been removed, I clean up the rest of the root system in preparation for a pot. These long roots have finer systems closer to the trunk. I will be pruning the damaged areas back to there. When I repot this tree in two more years, you will see a fine mass of roots at those cut areas. This mica pot has been prepared with screen over the drainage holes and retaining wires put in place. A thin layer of good draining soil is added to the bottom of the pot. Next the tree is put into position. Quarter inch airline hose is used to protect the roots from the wire. This material can be found in any aquarium hobby store. The retaining wires are fed through the hose and then the hose is placed over the root. I use this method on roots that will be visible in the future. Twist the wires to secure the tree to the pot. Cut off any excess. Pull and then twist. Now you can add layers of bonsai soil. It is best to have the soil dry as it's easier to work with. Using a chopstick, work the soil into the root ball. Fill all cavities with soil and leave no gaps. Start under the trunk and work your way outward. A few light taps can help finalize it. Top off the pot with a final layer of soil. The new roots need as much protection as they can. You're good to go. Soak the tree in water and rooting hormone for this initial stage. Then water it until it drains clear. Protect your new tree from full sun and hard winds. Keep your tree damp, but not wet. New buds will appear in four to eight weeks time. If you like this video, like and subscribe because there's more to come. Thanks for watching.